Greetings, my beauties around the world. It's your girl. Now coming to you from Sydney. Can you see? I got an upgrade. I'm on floor 27. And my goodness. Oh, it's been a long 24 hours of traveling or almost 24 hours so the bus left let me just turn this off for a minute the bus left Brisbane CBD um, three o'clock yesterday afternoon and then we took the bus to casino which is like inland like three hour three hour bus ride um, and then Got on the train at like 7.30 and just went until 7 o'clock this morning. <laughs> oh, thank God I got a sleeper. I got a sleeper cabin to myself. Oh my goodness, what a luxury. After a bus of screaming, um, screaming kids, there was only one. The others were well behaved, but she was, um, she was not happy. And she was not happy that she couldn't do what she wanted and she screamed the bus down that's what happens when you got little kids and you know you, you have to travel with them um some kids just can't sit still and you know there are a few dodgy characters on the bus and i just couldn't wait to get on the train in my sleeper cabin and as soon as i got on you know with a sleeper cabin and i didn't realize that i thought um, when I upgraded to first class going from Sydney to Brisbane I thought it was a sleeper then and it wasn't and so um, this time I paid the extra hundred dollars because oh, I remember how uncomfortable I was going from Sydney to Brisbane oh it was just so uncomfortable to sit for like 16 hours tossing and turning all night people snoring you know, like people with their lights on. Oh, anyway, I thought, right, I'm not doing that this time. I am going to eating some sushi or remnants of sushi. I'm going to get a sleeper. And I did. Oh, what a luxury. Just, I had my own shower, my own toilet, my own bed with fresh linen and my own biggest thing for me my biggest privacy my own privacy so as soon as I got on the on the train as soon as it took off I went and had a shower freshened up washed my hair brushed my hair out and just sat back put my music on pulled the curtains across it was absolute bliss absolute bliss and so maybe I might have slept an hour maybe two just from the stopping and starting and the lights and even now when I'm just sitting here I feel like I'm still moving I've got the train legs instead of the sea legs I've got the train legs oh, so I'm in Sydney I'm almost home just a day ride overnight ride on the train and I'm at least in Adelaide and as soon as I get to Adelaide I'm driving direct home if there's anything this trip has taught me it is that I value my seclusion and isolation like never before I mean I, I always have because I've always known what getting back into city and immersing myself into society is like but this time like it just hit home for me even even when I had got to Adelaide and I just thought oh my god should I be doing this? I can always turn back and oh, it just reinforced why I chose to live where I did away from everybody because the biggest thing now I feel like it's so precious is independence and privacy you don't have it in the city or even you know what even when I was out in the rainforest like not so much Mount Glorious because I did get some time on my own there in the mornings but um, like when I went to Tembury Mountain like you cannot have any of these places on your own 
and it's just so urbanized all these beautiful natural wonders of this country here have just been urbanized like you walk through the rainforest and you hear you know the brakes of the trucks and like the exhaust brakes um, you hear people you just hear noise I just think oh my god man is so destructive so destructive and the biggest thing that irritated me I think most of all even at these or not that I think I know that irritated me at these natural beautiful places like the rainforest is that people have no idea how unconscious they are of their surroundings maybe I mean obviously I'm not talking about everyone because there are some people that are very conscious but there were people in there I swear to you I could hear them from Brisbane if I was in Brisbane that they were so loud and so just obnoxious like I just thought like how dare you like I feel like if you had any idea if you could feel the energy of this place it commands respect peace silence just to observe and I'm just like how how have people become so detached so ignorant so dumb you know so disrespectful oh my gosh it just bothered me so much like I was in the rainforest so the um, so the first two days like the first time I stayed at Mount Glorious it was fine the second time on the first day um, there was a woman smoking in there and then she dropped her butt on the ground I'm just like oh god I almost told her to pick it up I was just it I mean such filthy manners and disrespect I mean it just made my skin crawl I was really disappointed <sighs> Um, and then also the noise, the noise of just motorbikes and then the, you know, these women that were just, oh my God, just obnoxious, just talk so loud. And I thought, right, universe, I'm just going to stand here and wait till they walk past because this is just going to irritate me, the whole loop, loop-de-loop -loop of the rainforest. And I didn't even need to say anything. I think my look just said it all on my face. I didn't even say hello because usually I would. I would greet them like people in the forest and, you know, like the genuine ones there that appreciate. Um, I would just greet them and say good morning and talk, but I couldn't give a rat's ass about these other women. I thought if you have no respect, if you can be that detached from your environment, like... I, I just don't have any time for people like you, you know, I, and, and it's everywhere. It's not just in the rainforest, you know, and these women probably have no idea. They probably have no idea how, how obnoxious they are. Like if, if I had pointed it out to them, they would be like, what? Who is this woman? We're just talking. No, you're not. You're shouting and laughing and sounding ridiculous and anyway I just kept my mouth shut oh so anyway I'm just so glad to be out of Queensland I'm so glad to be out and I'm gonna be up on the northern beaches tomorrow and yeah I'm excited to get I'm just so excited to get home I leave here on Tuesday is it Tuesday or when Wednesday I think it's Wednesday um, better check something really amazing happened to me and I haven't shared it online I want to but I can't I can't and 